Good evening, people. Here we are again. Tuesday from Twelve Heads, the seventh. I'm going to play uh, from Singing the Faith, 351 in Christ Alone, uh, by Keith Getty and Stuart Townend, uh, arranged by Paul Leddington Wright. 351 in Christ Alone. And of course it helps if you turn the piano. So then turning back the, the clock and turning back to a different book. O oh, Thou Who Camest From Above, which in, uh, sing, in Hymns and Psalms is 745, and uh, in Singing the Faith is 564. O oh, Thou Who Camest From Above. And I'll play it to the Hereford tune, the Wesley tune. I use the other books. The page doesn't want to stay open. I see somebody's made a very good job of... Uh, repairing that that book and he doesn't want to stay open so 564 from 
singing the face. And there's two tunes. Well, this one doesn't stay open either. Mm. Hereford by Samuel Sebastian Wesley, the great Victorian organist composer. And uh, there is another tune, Wilton, which is beloved of, of many, but um, the Hereford tune is the one that, uh, that I like. Who thou who camest? And uh, my sister asked if I would play this. Uh, my sister lives in Reading with her husband Dan and Wawena and Joseph. We had a, a slight amusement earlier in the week when we did a sort of FaceTime call or a video call and <clears throat> some of the kit I've got here is a bit old. And um, Joseph described me as sounding like a squirrel at the other end, so it was quite amusing. However, O thou who camest from above. <laughs> Of memories of where you might have sung that hymn. <clears throat> One of my lasting memories is singing it in Buckfast Abbey and um, um, we sang there with uh, Hubert Julian and uh, the late Martin Ellis played the organ. He was based I think in Taunton at the time and had uh, was quite um, um, I'd say big in Methodist musical circles, I don't mean that unkindly, but he was a well-known and he's a very, very fine organist. He was at Dorking uh, Parish Church for some time, and sadly he passed away just recently, but um, well, I remember singing it in uh, Buckfast Abbey, a very lovely place to go, one of the places I shall aspire to get to um, when uh, we're out of lockdown, whenever that's going to be. Now my aunt, Auntie Daphne, who's my godmother, uh, who now lives with her husband David in Truro, having travelled back from Yorkshire, had come home and she uh, got in touch and said, would I play Oh the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus? And uh, of course more, hap more than happy to do that. And um, I put the words on the internet and uh, <clears throat> and you can uh, hopefully you you you've got them. Um, I don't know if you're being uh, clever and having me on one device and the words on another device, or if you printed them off. But if you've got sight of those, that'll be great. Oh, the deep deep love of Jesus to this wonderful Welsh tune, 
Ebenezer uh, by uh, Thomas J. Williams. And it's, uh, it's one of those tunes that um, evokes um, something to begin with, without, even without these words. Um, it's in the minor key, if you're technically minded. We have majors, that's minors. And this happens to be um, in the minor key. So it's got a different flavor, a different color, if you like. Uh, I will, um, once again, for the tech team, I will finish it off in the major key because we've got somewhere triumphant. The, the major and the minor, I could wax lyrical for a long time about this, about the good overcoming evil and all the rest of it. Um, but um, that, that's for perhaps for another day. And uh, but I will finish uh, at the end of, um, <clears throat> of the hymn in, in the major key. And for those of you who want a technical term it's called a tears to picardy so um, at the end of all this when we're out from lockdown there will be a, a, a quiz I'll be a test and I'll see if you've remembered any of the things I've talked about like tonic shifts and majors and minors and tears to picardy and suspensions and squash notes and all those things um, which will perhaps come up over the course of my waffling long introductions to what I'm going to play so oh the deep Deep love of Jesus. key we've arrived home as it were <clears throat> so all those things mood and changes of key tonic shifts and tister pickardies and all those things 
Uh, last night, um, I said that Twelve Beds was uh, in sort of three parishes, Kenwyn, Gwenop and Chase Water, and I got it wrong. Um, it's Key Parish. Um, I sort of wasn't quite sort of thinking. I know it began with K, so I'm not too far off. K-E. The third letter was wrong. K-E-N, K-E-A. Key Parish. So, um, and uh, I, I was... Uh, um, reminded um, of where we actually live uh, in the parishes by um, Judith Stevens, um, who uh, is Rex Bray's sister. And once upon a time, I seem to think, and Judith will no doubt put me right, she did come and babysit once upon a time for us here at, uh, in uh, Toilets. Now, somebody's ringing me up, so we'll have to wait. You can hear the phone in the background. So, um, I'm going to, it's great that people are joining in sort of from all over the place, um, uh, uh, it really is. Oh. Right. Oh, I'll sort, sort him out in a minute, no, I don't think it was Dennis. Right, so, I'm... Um, Well, I'm going to continue playing a hymn. We'll sort things out. Right, so um, we have people from all over the place. Um, the next request for Rock of Ages comes from Sue Shapley in Plymouth. Um, Sue will be known to praise makers as Sue Tozer, or affectionately we used to call her Toady. Uh, blessed with a, a lovely singing voice. And she asked, could we have Rock of Ages? And then I said, well, which tune would you like? Because there's a couple of tunes. <laughs> And she knows both of them, and I've, I've settled on on the one which is in um, Hymns and Psalms 273, the Petra tune, and it's 434 in uh, Singing the Faith. Um, <clears throat> I can't sort of uh, the, the the other tune, Top Lady. I sort of I always think of it as a being an American tune, and um, get associations with I don't know for for some. For some reason, for me, rock of ages cleft for me. It's got sort of American sort of connotations for me. Somebody at a harmonium playing. Um, I don't know why, but um, <clears throat> that's the way uh, I, I tend to think about it. So I'm going to play the Petra tune, 273 in hymns and psalms, and 434 in singing the faith.
friends tuning in from all over the place. I know my um, friends locally, if you like. Um, we go far, as far afield as Australia and New Zealand. Um, so um, it's, it's good that the internet can sort of join us all together. And uh, I'm going to play one more hymn for this evening. Um, talking to friends near and far, not so, so far away. We have some wonderfully named villages in, uh, in uh, Cornwall, don't we? And their origins are sort of uh, you know, like wax lyrical about what twelve heads means and how there was a twelve-headed tin stamp here, actually sort of just over there somewhere. Um, apparently, all driven by water. Phone <clears throat> says it's not charging. Um, so hopefully, please don't die. Why are you not charging? Bless you. Also in Devon watching, Peter, Elaine. Um, anyway, so across uh, from here, uh, we've got Point Mills, and then we've got Casgarn, and then we've got Frogpool. Now in Frogpool, um, we've got Giles Richards, who lives across in Frogpool. And um, Giles is known to many of us uh, through his singing and uh, participation and recording and all loads and loads of things. And... Um, he asked, would I play uh, 877 from um, uh, the, the Old Methods hymn book, MHB. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it was a hymn book we had before, Hymns and Psalms. 877, How Do Thy Mercies Close Me Round. Wonderful hymn. And um, it was a particular favourite of his father's, Reggie. Um, the Richardses are a, a, a big family. And um, uh, uh, Reggie had a, a twin brother called Eddie, and then there was uh, Vivian, uh, who, who r runs the uh, meat uh, business, or did run the meat business across at Refontine in Frogpool, and then Derek Richards, who has the garage at Point Mills. Um, big family. And Reggie was a local preacher, and I well remember him coming uh, to preach at 12. He was a very gracious, quiet gentleman and uh, well known and loved in, in, in farming circles. He used to be a cattle buyer and um, he, I can remember him bringing calves up for Grandpa Davy, Bainu Davy, uh, here in Twelve Eds. And this was a favourite hymn of, of Reggie's and Giles said, will I play it? And of course I'm only too happy to do that. How do thy mercies close me round? I did put the words up um, so um, Hopefully uh, you, you can find a wonderful tune, Saxby, um, beautiful harmonies, um, moves about all over the place. <laughs> Thank you. 
see why it was such a such a favourite. Um, lovely words. Verse 6, I rest beneath the almighty shade, my griefs expire, my troubles cease. Thou, Lord, on whom my soul is stayed, will keep me still in perfect peace. That's wonderful words from one of the greatest hymn writers ever, Charles Wesley, in that wonderful tune, Saxby. So there we are for this evening, everybody. Um, do keep your requests coming in. Uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Um, on Thursday this week, I'm going to do something different starting at 7. I'll play the piano tomorrow, but on Thursday, I will um, relocate to downstairs and, and to play the organ. But I do enjoy playing hymns on the piano, as you hope you, hopefully you'll gather. Um, so, but I'll uh, bring the changes a bit and uh, well, I'll, I'll perhaps play a couple of pieces of organ music as well. So uh, stay safe, stay well, and uh, I'll be here again tomorrow. So thank you for joining in. For all parts of the world, it's, it really is, is quite lovely. So um, we'll see you. So keep safe, uh, good night, and God bless. <laughs>